I'm going to check that out. No! no. Safe now. Let's move. Yes, yes. I think we can move. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved. Here's the Blood Seal, another of the lost the Kaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Yes, Look here. Probably right. You see how the ancient blades Try revered me with Cyrodiil? Try using your seal on the floor. It's done. It's coming to life. Yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time. An Aldrin of the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Aldrin's defeat is a centerpiece. Here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout, but there's no way to know what shout.
Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Octavia to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive eyes. Sky, guard you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But... Thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. show you how to open the way.
I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies. Blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Look! Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. The word calls you. Go to it.
treat me not as mortal, but as Dova. Not, do not be afraid, Fasnu. Let me feel the power of your thum. Ah, yes, Sosedu Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Crosis, sorrowfully, no, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Hmm. Yes and no, Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. 
The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tidkrent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Drem your lock, greetings. Lok Thum.
So, you spoke to Parthenaps. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? And so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Sky above, voice within. Take a look. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Need some metal, hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. I'd travel more. Take a look. Thank you for your custom. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God? Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Reef. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures.
Do come again. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Maybe you've seen masts sticking out of the water to the northeast.
I've been looking for you. There's a new museum open. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Don't just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Excellent. A standard spell for one skilled in destruction magic is the Fire Vault. Casting one at the seal on the ground here would be sufficient. I look forward to it. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Winterhold's glory days may lie behind. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Take a look. will be waiting for you. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. Sir? <laughs> How quaint. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. 
We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Mm-hmm. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes. Welcome to the college. Another new student. To understand I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander. The College of Winterhold. It's been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have problems, let one of our senior members know. just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 
eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over th Please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it. You have to keep your ward up or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing the wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various aspects of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. I have many important things. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Good to see Skyrim still has such fine spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them.
All right. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Education. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Ah. Have you, by chance, seen my re I'm not so sure we should be here. Some of you may know. You know, there might be gold somewhere. The north here. settlement of Skyrim. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity for us, to be able to study such an early civilization. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Well, are there any questions before we begin? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can... Now, let's see. Shall we have the rest to think. of you? My ancestors... Brenda, my dear, why don't you search for warding magics? Anything designed to keep people out. Interact with them. Just identify them. All right, everyone. Let's be careful, but have fun. Can you imagine what it was like living here so long ago? The first men in Tamriel. Here. Jazargo finds nothing but dust in these ruins. Do you think there's treasure here? Something to make Jezargo a powerful wizard? Well, certainly none of this will benefit my research. He what? You must be one of the new apprentices then. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, alright? We don't want to damage anything. Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can catalog them. Uh-huh. It's going to take forever to sit through all this. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it?
sure what to expect here. Please be on your guard. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? All right, then.
I thought it high time I caught up with you. You look at that. I never imagined we'd find something like this. Why is this buried so far within some? Someone there? I'll try to drain some of its power. Prepared to defend yourself. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savosaren of this discovery? Please, hurry. <laughs> 